Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to do a, a video of my ring collection. Um, this is a video that is uh, requested by one of the viewers uh, for my Hermes perfume uh, unboxing video. Um, Lazy Sunday 1020. Um, so thank you very much for making this suggestion and here I am making this video. Uh, not just on my rings but on some of my other fine jewelry pieces as well. Um, so if this is something that is of interest to you please consider subscribing to my channel and um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up today i will be just um, going through the top layer of my jewelry box um, i don't have a lot of fine jewelry in terms of rings specifically um, and in actual fact um, only uh, i think maybe only one no two of these uh, rings are uh, ones that i've purchased myself um, I've also got what uh, I'll just show you what I've got on my hand first. Um, so this is my engagement ring from my husband, um, and it's a simple uh, white gold ring uh, with a solitaire uh, diamond. Um, I think the diamond was one point uh, two or one point. I can't remember I think 1.2 carats um, in size and this one is my actual wedding ring very simple it's a platinum uh, ring that I purchased from a jeweler in Hong Kong um, so yeah just very simple my husband has the, uh, the same uh, exactly the same material and design um, but obviously a different size um, so platinum uh, is very long lasting um, it doesn't tarnish uh, very strong and durable oh, sorry about my hands um, I do need to get a good uh, cuticle uh, oil to um, help with my dry cuticles because I do need to wash my hands quite often. So if any of you have a good cuticle oil that you recommend, please let me know in the comments below. Now this other ring is um, the Hermes uh, sterling silver ring that I purchased. Now in comparison to this other also sterling silver ring, you can tell that the Hermes is a lot whiter and shinier. I think the finishing um, of um, this other ring, I believe it was uh, actually Pandora ring, if I remember correctly. Um, it's, the, it's styled differently, I guess. It's like the um, this particular silver styling is not meant to be uh, shiny, uh, whereas the Hermes one is meant to uh, be a lot more shiny. I think this one sort of gives it the antique look, um, whereas the Hermes is more of the modern edgy look. Um, I guess to compare like you know I've mentioned previously Hermes silver is such great silver in comparison to other sterling silver um, I'll just compare this with this um, this pendant that I have that is in sterling silver um, also meant to be the shiny kind of mirror I guess polish uh, polishing finish um, you can tell the shine level is very different um, the Hermes silver is a lot more shinier and whiter a cooler sort of um, silver um, than this other uh, pendant uh, that I have um, yeah so you can really tell um, the difference in terms of the degree of the shine and that it really is quite resistant to tarnishing the Hermes silver um, I don't know what they what the ingredient they have added um, to make the sterling silver sterling silver is not pure 100% um, silver um, it is I think it was um, 
uh, meant to be 95% silver and combined with the remaining small percentage of other metals. Next, this ring is uh, I purchased myself. It's actually from uh, Vera Wan, uh, the designer. Um, so it's in white gold and uh, set with little diamonds and um, sapphire. Um, very beautiful. Um, this was a reward for myself on uh, getting a, uh, I guess, a higher, a higher position uh, in my career. Um, quite a few years ago now, I think it would have been probably six or seven years ago. It actually comes with a set. Um, I'll show you. It comes with, I, I purchased it as a set with a pair of earrings um, in the same style, again in white uh, gold. Um, so very beautiful. Um, this is my dressier, dressier, um, obviously a dressier set. Um, and I don't wear it often um, as a set together because I guess the it's ma mostly the ring that I don't wear as much um, because it is quite a sort of dressier style, formal style. Now this next ring is uh, gifted to me by my mum. It's in yellow gold um, and the stone is amethyst. Can you see how dark purple the amethyst crystal is um, this is obviously from many many years ago um, and the amethyst like if any of you is into crystal you would have noticed the quality of the um, amethyst that you can purchase um, I guess in non-specialist uh, shops has really declined over the past years like you it's so rare to get such a deep dark shade um, saturated uh, color of amethyst nowadays it's often very uh, watered down type of color um, but look at this um, yeah this is such a beautiful I think it's actually the same it's almost the same color as my Hermes Picotine yeah actually it is such a good idea to wear them together isn't it um, yeah, I think I will do that next time I wear my uh, Picadine bag. I will wear this ring just to match it, match it together. Um, now this other ring is a gift from my husband. Again, is in uh, yellow gold and a stone. I think it was aquamarine, um, light blue in color. It just goes well with um, most of my. Um, outfit, my blue tone outfit. Um, this is another one that he purchased uh, another year. Um, again, yellow gold um, with little diamonds as well as aquamarine crystal in the middle. So just my um, uh, white gold necklaces made in Italy. Um, they're used to wear my pendants um, that are of silver or white gold um, and then I've only got one uh, yellow gold necklace. I have to say I favour um, white gold and sterling silver. Um, I think it just looks better for my skin tone. Um, another pendant and necklace I'm currently wearing um, is a um, jade. It's set with white gold um, and I'm matching it with my um, green tone top. Now this next one is a gift from my mum, a pendant, uh, white gold uh, with rubies. She purchased it from uh, the airport. Um, in Hong Kong I think. Now this other one again is a hand-me-down from my mum. Uh, white gold uh, pendant with a diamond um, in the middle. Um, just I guess classic style. Um, simple but classy. 
um, and then this other one again is a hand-me-down pendant from my mom I don't think this is a real diamond I think it's a cubic zirconia um, but recently the 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 setting is uh, the set is white gold um, but recently I've actually found this part of the claw has broken off which I'm quite annoyed about I don't know how it happened um, because it's not meant to be this fragile so I have to say the craftsmanship of this one is not very good um, the stone is not very uh, stable I don't know whether it will fall one day um, now this one is a citrine again it's a hand-me-down from my mom the setting I think is gold it's a gold setting and this one is a peridot uh, crystal in the middle uh, I think it's sterling silver setting um, this one I cannot remember I think it's also a hand-me-down from my mum um, it's a uh, yellow solid yellow gold Mickey Mouse pendant very cute um, and now to my pearl pendants um, all these are fresh pearls um, this is my initial in sterling silver um, as a pendant and then I have um, this one which is um, also gifted by mum um, that you can see is a bit of a pink tinge pearl with that one um, with white gold set now this one is a sterling silver set um, a much bigger pearl but um, the setting is very uh, simple because the star of the show is the pearl with that one um, you can see how beautiful the pearls are when they are real pearls uh, in compared to this fashion jewelry piece that I you know either the the pearl is not a real pearl or is not a very high quality fresh uh, water pearl I don't know um, yeah because they all kind of hand me downs from my mum what is white gold with jade um, yeah just very simple quite pretty um, I have to say it's probably looking a bit more formal um, rather than casual um, now that's my top layer you can see I use the jewelry box um, stackers uh, brand where you can just basically stack each uh, is modular so you can sort of buy each separate layer and stack it however you like as long as you buy from the same range this is the classic range um, and this is it from me today um, just a bit of a showcase of my different fine jewelry pieces um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, and I will see you next time. Bye.